Hello everyone, this is Mr. Goodhind, uh, your new principal at East Falmouth Elementary School. And since we're outside, uh, behind the library or out in the uh, courtyard, I can take my mask off because I have my distancing. And we're outside, and doesn't that feel good? So I know that you have some questions that you wanted to ask me, and Ms. Draper had sent them to me, so I had a little chance to look at them. But uh, I think she's going to read the questions for me, and I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, my favorite ice cream flavor, that's hard because I have so many, um, but if I had to choose one, I would say mint chocolate chip. Okay, so I love a lot of sports, and as a former PE teacher, I am very used to be very active. Now I pretty much just play golf with some of my older friends, but um, I grew up playing hockey and loving hockey and learned to skate on some ponds in Western Mass. And so um, I love hockey, but I also really love basketball. So it's really a toss up right now. Um, so if I had to choose one, my favorite sport and the sport that I know the most about is basketball, but I'm going to go with hockey right now. Do I have a favorite NHL player? I've got a couple. Um, Patrice Bergeron is probably my favorite player because he is so unselfish. He is one of the most unselfish players that you can possibly watch play hockey because he plays both ends of the rink. He plays offense and he plays defense. And not all hockey players do that and do that well. So, and he's gotten awards for that every year for being the best two-way hockey player. I can't remember the name of the trophy that he's gotten, but if anybody remembers, you could email it to me. Um, so I really enjoy the way Patrice Bergeron plays. There's another player that I really admire, and his name is Connor McDavid. He plays for Edmonton. And the reason that I admire him so much is because he overcame a tremendous knee injury uh, last year and rehabilitated and was out of hockey for an entire year. And he worked so hard, I saw an autobiography about his work and his work ethic and trying to come back. And I was just so impressed with all the work he did to get back to where he could play. And he is an elite hockey player. And so I admire him not because of his elite skills and how good he is, but because of the way he overcame adversity. My favorite animal? Gosh, um, probably... Um, you know, I, I don't know if I have a favorite animal. I know some animals that I'm most afraid of, and that's sh sharks. I really don't like sharks all that much. Um, I don't know, my favorite animal, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to pass on that one because I love so many animals that I can't really pick a favorite right now. I like to think I like camping, but I like the ocean better. Um, you know, I don't remember a lot of books when I was a child. I know what my favorite book is, though. And my favorite book is Odd Velvet. And I put that on my blog as well. And um, Odd Velvet is a great story about a girl who has differences. And in the beginning, when she comes to school, the children don't appreciate her differences. And she gets made fun of. And, but it never bothers her, and eventually they come around to see how amazing she is because of her differences. And I think that is one of the most powerful children's books I have ever read. I thought about two. Um, Barack Obama would be one person that I would love to meet, and Denzel Washington would be the other person I would love to meet. And, and so I've obviously heard them speak many times and um, not in person, but, you know, through videos. And once again, going back to Connor McDavid, you know, people that have reached a very high level in their life or their profession and have overcome tremendous adversity or faced adversity or faced difficulties, those are the kind of people that I would love to sit down and talk with. Well, that's tough because we've had we've had both in our family. Um, I love cats, but you know, I'm probably a dog person. Just don't tell my cat that. 
Okay, I have uh, my dad who's passed away around five years ago, he died, and my mom is still alive, and I have three brothers, so those are my, those are my family members, and I'm the youngest of the four of us. Um, I have 15-year-old uh, twins, a boy and a girl, Joshua and Jordan, and my lovely wife, Evelyn. favorite part about Falmouth so far, um, there's this place called, um, what is it called? It's called Jack and the Beanstalk Delicatessen, and I have found that I really like going there for lunch. But what I also really enjoy is when I leave the school and I take a right turn, I can go down to the beach and I can drive by the ocean, and I just think that is one of my favorite things to do so far. That's hard, and so I can, you know, junior mints are probably at the top, but raisinets are right there, and then I would say just about any kind of fudge, if it doesn't have peanut butter. So those are my favorites, junior mints, raisinets, and peppermint patties, which are kind of a cousin of junior mints, are excellent as well. Carrot cake, simple. Best ever, with cream cheese dressing or frosting. You know, I like so many different types of music. I really don't have a favorite band or even a favorite singer. Um, I like music that is uplifting. I like music that, you know, people can dance to, and that can be any kind of music, and move their bodies. So I would say, you know, any kind of music that is uplifting and positive, and gets people to want to move. 